Hello. Hello. My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 144. Today we will evaluate some simple algebraic expressions. We will evaluate some algebraic expressions. Very simple, very straightforward one. Today is the seventh lesson in the series of 10. Today is the seventh one in the series of 10. And today is our meeting number 144. Here's the problem. Here's the information. We are told that if a is equal to 7, b is equal to 2, c is equal to 1, x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to 0, what are the values of these five terms? Technically, strictly speaking, it should not it should not be referred to as expressions because it only has one term. Expressions are made up of two or more terms. But anyway. So, number one, 7a, seven 7a, seven a, seven times a, which is 7, is 49. Number two, x squared, how much is x? x squared is going to be 5 squared, which is 25. 3 times, 3 times a times z, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what 3 times a is, z, we are told, is 0. 0 times anything is 0. b cubed, b is 2 b cube is 2, so it's 2 cube, which is 8. 5 times b, which is 2, times y. 5 times b, times y, which is 3. 5 times 2 is 10, so it's 30. Let's do 5 more. Let's do 5 more. As you can see, they go, they go very fast. This should take no more than a second or two, that's all. Number 6 z cubed, c cubed, 3b squared, 2ac, and 6z squared. z cubed, well, z is equal to 0, so it's just 0. c cubed, c is how much? c is 1, well that's still, it's just, 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 just 1 cube, 1 cube is just 1. 3b squared, 3b squared is 3 times 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. 2ac, 2ac, 2 times a which is 7, times c which is 1. Oh, that's just 14. That's just 14. And z here appears again as, as, as soon as you see z in here, the whole thing is going to be 0 because z is equal to 0. 0 times anything is 0. This whole thing is just 0. Let's do 5 more. Four y squared, seven c squared, nine b squared, eight b c times z, five seven y squared z, seven y squared z. Let's see what we can do. Four y squared y is three. Four y squared is four times. 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 4 is 36, 7c squared, 7c squared would be 7 times c which is 1, which is just 1 squared is 7, 9b squared, 9 times b squared and b is 2, so it's 9 times 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 9 is 36, right here, 4 times 9. is 36. And the last two, it has a z in it, it doesn't matter what a times, what that, it doesn't matter what a times b times c is, a times b times c times 0 is just going to be 0. Similarly here, it makes no difference what y times, what 7 times y squared is, 7 times y squared times 0 is again going to be 0. Let's do 5 more. Because 0 times anything is 0. 4x squared, 9cy, 8b squared, 3, 3b squared, and 13 raised to the fifth power. 
13 raised to 13 raised to fifth power. 4 x squared, x is how much? x is 5, x is 5, so it's 4 times 5 squared, 5 squared we know is 25, 25 times 4 is 100. 9yc, 9cy, 9 times c which is 1, times y which is 3. So essentially it is 9 times 3 which is 27. Then we have 8b squared, 8 b squared, 8 times b squared is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 8 is going to be 32. Let's do the last two. 3b squared, 3b squared is going to be 3 times 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. And finally, 13c to the fifth is 13 to the fifth c is equal to 1, so it's 1 raised to fifth, 1 raised to any power is just 1, so it's just 13. That was it. Let's do one more, one last one, a bonus one. How about, how about 13 raised to 13 times c raised to 0? 13 times c raised to 0. Well, it could be c or it could be any number. Any number, any number raised to 0 any number raised to 0 is 1. Any number raised to 0 equals 1. So c squared, we don't, we, don't have to, don't, we don't even have to worry about what c is equal to. We don't have to look here. It doesn't matter what c is. Any number raised to 0 is 1. It's 13 times 1, which is 13, of course. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.